Hey everyone, this is Mei Yu. Thank you for all of your likes and subscribes in my previous art challenge. I really appreciate your support. So some of you fans have been suggesting me to make art with ketchup from my last video and I've never done this before so I have no idea how it's going to turn out but fingers crossed, let's see. Okay so now I'm going to pour some more ketchup in here just to get ready for this art challenge. Mm, smells really good. Okay, so I think I have enough for now. <laughs> okay, so instead of using brushes, I'm going to challenge myself today to use fries <laughs> to make art with. So I have these thick fries and I have these thin ones. <laughs> Let's see. I have no idea how this is going to work, but um, well, you asked for it, so let's let's go. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, I really want to eat it right now. Ooh, it smells really good. <laughs> okay. Mm, okay, so I guess I have to keep dipping. A lot because it doesn't really hold a lot of ketchup in one. And in case you're wondering what I am making art on, so this is my gallery canvas. So it's pretty nice to make art with ketchup on it. <laughs> <sighs> I think my stomach is growling. <laughs> Okay, can you guess what I am making? Comment below to let me know what you think this looks like. Just keep guessing until you find out the end, but no spoilers. Try not to skip to the end of the video. <laughs> I think it's interesting to see how it's created as I go along. Okay, so I think it's looking uh, not too bad at the moment. And I have to say that it is kind of um, a challenge to kind of get the right like um, thickness of the ketchup. I guess it's just hard because, you know, like fries is kind of lumpy. So <laughs> I have to kind of be careful when I'm going around certain areas of this artwork. And if I want smaller details, then I think I have to be really careful. I'm not up to that point yet, but um, I will eventually. Some of you asked me if I have Instagram, so yes, it's right here. Be sure to follow me for new posts. I really enjoyed uh, reading all of your comments in my last video. Uh, when I made art with toothpaste and especially when many of you were trying to guess like what I was making as I was going along so I think it was really fun and thank you for all of you who uh, commented and it'll be fun to see uh, what guesses you're gonna come up with for today's video okay so I think I am done using this really thick fry for now 
Um, set this down here, and maybe let's try a thin one. So this is really, really thin, and I hope I can get smaller details by using this. But also, I think it it's also gonna catch less ketchup. So I don't know. Let's see how I'm gonna do this. Okay, I think I drew this line pretty good right here at the side and I'm going into the eye now. I think it's going to be really tricky to try to get the details I want in the eyes with ketchup because I think it's, um, it's kind of challenging to try to control the line width. I think the circles look pretty good. And let me fill in the rest here. So I think this eye is looking really cute. So I'm pretty happy how it turned out. Now I'm going into the other areas. Okay, I think this plate is getting kind of heavy, so I have to set it down. There's a lot of ketchup. Okay, so that fry was breaking, so I'm starting with another one. This one is uh, not good to use. Okay, so um, I think by now you can probably guess what I am making with ketchup, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this eye right now or not. I just feel... I, I am kind of nervous. It's just if I make some kind of mistake on the eye, it's going to make the whole thing ruin, I feel. so. I don't want to do that right now. I'll just focus on something easier. I'll go down into this area of the art first. Mm. Yes, I am very brave. Cute. I think that's a good way to draw the muzzle area. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so um, yeah, my battery is running low, so I gotta change it right now. Okay, so I guess the time has come for me to finish the last eye and it is um, going to be very challenging because I have to try to keep this eye as level and as close as possible to the first eye I drew otherwise it is going to make this whole thing well not very good so <laughs> I'm a little nervous I have to really concentrate and yeah fingers crossed I did it! I think it looks really good and smells really good too. Oh, it looks so adorable! Okay, so I am going to sign with ketchup and with this fry. I'm so glad I did this. 
Thanks for suggesting, everyone. Okay, so let me... I'm too excited. Alright, so I'm gonna sign right here. Actually, I think I'll just initial. Thank you for uh, supporting my art and your fun to draw channel with your likes and subscribes. I actually have this design on my merch store, so if you like, go ahead, check it out. And also, if you have any of my merchandise already or if you're gonna buy new ones like this, then please let me know and send me a link on your social media. I love to see and imagine all the compliments you're gonna get. Especially something like this is very special because you've just seen me draw it, create it from scratch. I think it's really special and it's a one of a kind piece to have and to own. And thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. You know what? I am getting really hungry right now and I have a lot of ketchup left over. So I think I'm going to just take a little break. Mm, good. And actually, I really like this art challenge because I got to create some really nice art and have a really good snack too. Oh, it's so good. I'm so hungry. Mm. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you to all of you who ordered from my previous collections on my store. Those have now ended. And today I have two new arrivals, plus a featured back to school collection. They'll end on Thursday, August 17. The new arrival features my cute funny draw pineapple from my second pancake art challenge. Many of you told me you loved it. This is great for funny draw fans and anyone who loves cute kawaii things and my art. Also available is my one of a kind ketchup art dog from today's video. I really like these shirts and other items. I've also made some unique items where one side is the original ketchup color and the other side is classy black and white. It's so striking and special. And many of us are getting ready for back to school, so I have a special feature collection to help you go back in style. I love all the different notebooks, binders, pens, bags, and other school supplies I designed for you. It's cool to show your personality and who you are through cute, beautiful school accessories. I hope it'll be a very unique experience for you fans to own these because you've just seen how I created them by hand from start to finish. Imagine you're the only one among your friends or coworkers to own these beautiful original creations. Imagine the compliments you'll get. You can tell others how these designs were made from the artists you know, and they'll be a great conversation piece. These collections will be replaced with new arrivals after August 17, so get them today while they're still available. If you miss my store for a little bit, you might miss out on some of your favorite designs. In case you're new to my channel, here are some shopping tips for you fans. My store has sales all the time on different items, and some items are 15 to 40% off. You can copy the sale code right from the top of my store, and then paste it at the bottom during checkout. Then just click apply. Sometimes sales last only a couple days, like here I've saved 40% off my tote bag. So check back often for different promo codes every day. I recently got a couple of notebooks from my store. This one's from my One Color 10 Markers video. That was a really fun art challenge. And the blue cat looks so striking against the black. I also love how the ink is raised. Like I can actually feel the different layers that got printed. To pair it up, I also got my Floral Five Lines Cat Notebook. I like how these notebooks are lightweight. They're perfect for taking notes or being used as a diary and they're just the right size to carry around with me. Each order is custom made just for you. Recently, I ordered some items for myself from Zazzle's Canadian store. To ship to my address in Canada, it was only like $6 for two new shirts and $8 for two spiral notebooks. I think the shipping is pretty reasonable because I ordered from my own country store. To save you on shipping, go to my store links in the video description. These links will take you directly to my store in your own country. So for example, if you're in the UK or Europe, click on the UK link. You only pay the local shipping rate to your UK address and European countries. Till my next new arrivals, happy shopping! <laughs>